Factsverse presents Surrogate Gives Birth to Twins, Then Doctor Did a DNA Test Help us spread the word about Factsverse. Click that like button and also be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. Jessica Allen is a mother of two from California. According to Jessica, no woman in the world should have to live their life without experiencing the love and the bond of a mother and child. A Chinese couple was looking for a surrogate to help them with a baby. Surrogacy is illegal in China, so the couple came to the United States to find a surrogate who was willing to carry their child. Anyone who's ever tried to conceive but can't knows the emotional and physical trauma that it can put on hopeful mothers. Jessica was sure she was doing an amazing thing for this couple. Jessica worked with Omega Family Global based in San Diego. In April 2016, Jessica had a single male embryo egg implanted in her uterus through in vitro fertilization. To prepare her womb for implantation, Jessica had to take estrogen and progesterone shots. She was very careful to follow all of the doctor's instructions before and after implantation if the pregnancy was going to be successful. About six weeks into her pregnancy, the doctors found something pretty interesting – and concerning. When the doctors performed an ultrasound on Jessica, they found she was carrying two babies. The doctors told her that there was a chance the egg could split even though it was very rare. Jessica was excited to tell the couple that they were getting twins. Jessica was being paid $30,000 plus expenses for being a surrogate. When the doctors saw that she was carrying twins, her monthly paychecks increased. She was now getting $5,000 per month. On December 12, 2016, Jessica gave birth to the twins at 38 weeks. She delivered the babies via C-section, and right after the babies were born, they were taken from the operating room. Jessica never had a chance to see them. It wasn't until the woman who would be raising the babies came to her room to show her photos of the babies. One of them looked Chinese, but the other didn't look Chinese at all. They obviously were not identical twins, but Jessica didn't ask any questions. When Jessica was released from the hospital, she returned home to recover. She and her husband, Wardell, used the money that Jessica earned from carrying the babies to buy a new home. A month after Jessica gave birth, right before moving day, she got a message from the mother that she carried the babies for. She sent Jessica a picture of the babies and told her that she didn't think that they were both her babies. The mother asked in the message if Jessica thought that they looked the same. She also asked if she thought about why they looked so different. Turned out one of those babies wasn't a twin that was implanted in Jessica. It was actually Jessica's biological son with her husband. The babies even had different gestational ages. Jessica was able to conceive through superfetation. It's where a woman continues to ovulate even after she's pregnant. Wardell and Jessica conceived a baby even though the other couple's baby was already growing inside of her. Jessica and Wardell were, of course, shocked. Jessica followed her IVF doctor's instructions to the letter. They told her that she and Wardell would need to wait to be intimate until Jessica's pregnancy was confirmed. Jessica says that she did everything that was stated in the contract. She waited to be intimate with her husband. They used condoms. Jessica and her husband, they couldn't believe that they now had a third child. They were actually in a panic. They had no idea how they were going to plan for a new baby overnight. They just bought a home and spent almost all of their savings. They had to figure out how they were going to get everything they needed for a new baby. Jessica and her husband, they wanted to bring their son home, of course. When the Chinese couple realized that the baby wasn't theirs, they wanted nothing to do with him. Jessica was told that somebody from the surrogate agency was taking care of her son and the Chinese couple demanded $22,000 in compensation. After all, they had been paying her extra, thinking that the second baby was theirs. The surrogacy caseworker who was looking after the baby wanted several thousand dollars as well for caring for their baby. Jessica and Wardell they didn't have any money to get their baby back, and soon they heard the baby was going to be put up for adoption. 
Well, they were going to put up the baby for adoption to absorb the money that Jessica owed the Chinese couple. Jessica and Wardell, they wanted their baby back, though. But because they still owed money to the couple, they weren't going to get their child. Jessica and her husband were told to pay the couple if they wanted their child back. The Chinese mother was planning on putting the baby up for adoption. Jessica and Wardell were going to have to go into debt if they wanted to get their baby. They had to hire an attorney and were forced to negotiate with the surrogate agency. Some people blamed Jessica, some blamed the agency, some blamed the couple for refusing to give Jessica her baby. The only one not speaking out was the surrogate agency. They remained tight-lipped about everything. Finally, two months after giving birth to him, Jessica finally met her son. The entire ordeal put a lot of stress on Jessica, not to mention putting the family in debt. Jessica named her new baby Malachi and is happy that he is finally home. She hopes potential surrogates can learn from her experience. She says that she would hate for another family to have to go through what they did. Subscribe for more!